Well, got some bindings to mount. I've actually already mounted them. These are the 2022 Slingshot Space Bob bindings. And I got into mounting these and I was like, maybe I'll make a video about this because it's a little more complicated, I think, than my old bindings. So yeah, just a reminder, like I'm coming over from some Hyperlite low backs. And these bindings, they've got the angles. I don't know if you could see that right here, but um, you know, you kind of just dial on the same angle on each side. And it's kind of similar to snowboarding in that way, um, which was kind of nice for getting things dialed. But with these ones, it's a little bit different. And my first attempt at mounting these, um, I came up a little bit off centered. So if I measure from the back, I'm at about three and a half inches. If I measure from the front, I'm like two and a quarter. So definitely need to bring these back, but just kind of getting into it and the instructions, I'm gonna take this one off right now. Um, and to mount bindings like this, you're gonna want a number three Phillips head screwdriver. Definitely avoid like a number two. I know a lot of people have those because it's maybe the most standard of the uh, screwdriver sizes, but you'll definitely strip your screws and you won't get them cranked as much as you need if you go number two. So number three is what you need. Um, yeah, getting into the bindings here. I'm actually thinking about this a little more. I should probably get these straps out of the way. So just give me a sec while I get that figured out. All right, all set. So on these bindings, and I got this little light with me, hopefully so you can see it. Um, there is like a set of markers there. So they kind of go from zero right about there out to eight on each side. So I don't really think that represents anything that relates to angles, but I was figuring I don't want a ton of angle. And luckily I do have um, some rash marks on my board from my last binding. So you can kind of see those right there. So, you know, I think right before I was around a 22 inch stance and around 12, 12 or nine, nine. Um, so I'd like to get to a similar stance again. So yeah, getting into mounting these originally, I went kind of off like the zero marks and then I went in one on this side and out one there, but that put me off centered. So I think we're gonna have to adjust for that. And, you know, if you look in the instructions in here, it's actually kind of interesting. So on the inside, you're gonna have a piece of hardware with a bigger washer compared to the outside. So the overall theory here is the outside one can slide where the big one's locked in. So you're gonna wanna kind of dial in your width first lock in the inner washer and then use the outside to kind of adjust the angle. Um, but you know, getting into this, if I just look at the width of my board here, it's where it's supposed to be. Yeah. Cause we're at 17, a little over 17 and a half. So eight and three quarters is the center point here. And that's not the widest part of the board, but just kind of where that insert was that I was using before. So that actually, yeah, definitely centered like we would expect it to be. And then on the binding here, you know, this binding is about a foot long. So the six inch mark on this binding is actually, I don't know if you can see this, I'll try to light it up here. I don't know if that helps at all, but um, it's about at the two. So one thing I would do with these bindings when you mount them is do this measurement first and realize that, you know, for me, I need to start with the two. So I think I want about, I think the angles were looking good the way I had it mounted before, but instead of using the zero as my center point, I'm actually gonna work off two towards the toes. So the way I did this before that I thought worked well is again, you wanna start with the piece of hardware that has the bigger washer. I mean, these things are all the same and make sure you put this piece of plastic in there too. That's gonna help the compression of the screw not loosen up over time. And I'm actually gonna come in here, I'm looking at the number two, right around there. And so I should wanna go duck. So we're gonna go to a one on the inside and a three on the outside. And I think that's gonna get me centered out, which was my problem originally. So um, I'm gonna put this down, but not crank it. And I was looking at this before too, like there's obviously three slots on here. And you could go with any of them, but um, yeah, I don't know, actually. I kind of got to see, because this is going to mount me towards, actually, you know what, before we do all this, 
Let's just get this other binding off because I'm going to have to take it off anyway. So we got that off. Now I want to be around 22 inches. That's just what I like generally for cable boards. So center to center, it's like 22 and a half. Um, so if I'm a little in, and that kind of matches up with my um, other screws the way I had them on before. So we're going to want to be a little in from the middle. And with the four sets of screws, you know, ideally I see that as being on the inner here and then uh, three in from the outside for that one. So same screws as before. But we want to be centered on those. So I'm actually going to go, and again, I got that right on, right on the one roughly. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect. And I'm actually going to go center on that. And I'm going to see how that goes. So let's get that on there. Again, this is the bigger washer on the inside. Get that not like crazy tight, but a little bit tight. And then we're going to go look over here and we're going to find three, right? Yeah, because that's what we thought would be equivalent to one outside of um, all right, so we got the three, and that's actually going to put me out on this outer screw here, which is kind of interesting. So, using a different hole than I was with the hyperlights for the outer screw. Um, but yeah, make sure to crank those down as much as you can. I'm not really loving the length of these screws. I wish they were like another like smidge longer because i'm getting a couple turns on them but i know that insert goes deeper and i obviously don't want to bottom out the insert but i don't know we'll just copy that over on the other side right now I'll go in and tighten those before I ride, but let's see. All right, so we're on 22 inches there. And then we've got about three inches. And then, so I'm still a little off, about two, what was that? Two and three quarters. Let's check this one. So this one's about three. This one's about two and three quarters, almost three. I mean. That's pretty close. I could probably notch them all back one to get it perfect, but I'm not too worried about that. I know I was off about an inch, more than an inch before, but you know, looking through these instructions real quick. So we follow the instructions, place each bind on top of the board, one binding at a time, fit clamps into each side of the base plate, with grooves in the clamping, fitting over the teeth in the binding base plate, line them up, mount the hardware, one is larger than the other. Start with the large washer. Screw down the inside clamp using the insert hole that matches your stance. Keep it loose. Attach the outside clamp with the smaller washer again using the appropriate insert hole. In here, but overall, you know, I think these are kind of complicated compared to really any other modern mounting system. But I would also say they probably have more adjustability other than maybe the liquid force um, slider system but you get a lot of forward and backward adjustments here that you might not get in another binding. Um, I think, you know, I wish it was a teeny bit easier to do and maybe I'll just get used to it as time goes on and I wish the screws were a little bit longer. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna ride this this weekend out in Sacramento. Uh, my buddy and I are going out to ride Velocity and Wake Island one day each. I'm um, gonna do some review videos there as well. But anyway, um, hopefully that was useful. Again, you're going to need number three. I would definitely use a tape measure because, you know, going off like the zero on the side isn't very reliable if you're trying to be centered. Um, instructions, you know, make sure you got all the hardware that it comes with too. So you should have screws, two different size washers, the clamps, and then the plastic gasket washer piece. But anyway, uh, peace out and hope you're all riding. Got one day in behind the boat so far this year, but kicking off the cable season this weekend and stoked to do that. Peace.